Hi guys, welcome back to another GG video. I'm coming to you straight from the Thermaltake CS2017 booth. Now, as I said in the previous videos, I was gonna cover the main mods on display at the booth. Now, this is right at the entrance. As soon as you the, the people walk through, they come and they see these four rigs. So the four rigs we have on display here is the awesome Titan IV two build from JP Modified. We have this crazy decked out dual Xeon build from uh, Mike from PC Customs. We have uh, the GGF build, which I've done here. You've seen a few videos and photos on this that I've done. And we also have this awesome avatar build from Mark from uh, Precision Computering. Now, I'm gonna go through each, uh, each build. Uh, I won't go on too long. I just wanna showcase sort of what the models have done to these builds, sort of uh, showcase their designs. Because as you can see in all these builds, they're all very different. They all had their unique aspect in the build. So we'll start off with uh, the JP Modified. As you can see, he's got a sort of black and green build. Uh, gray on the top here, he's added some sort of a weather texture effect. Uh, he's got the Titan 4.2 uh, logo on the side. He's done a bit of work on the side for the radiator covers. Uh, as you can see there, very nice uh, acrylic work. And then inside, just a very nice tubing runs with the chrome look uh, tubing. He's gone with the uh, Project Liberty is the name for this build. He's added the green coolant and yeah, he's just blended it all in very, very nicely. So a nice build there and it just ties in nicely and he's got the fan controller down the front. But I really like the uh, textured weather effect. Um, that's something I have never tried before, but you can see how well it comes up on a build like this. Now moving on to this monster over here. This is from Mike from um, PC Customs. Uh, we've all seen his builds, but this is just insane. So what he's done here, he's created a full custom front so this all this red here this isn't vinyl uh, it's not stickers it's not paint this is actually the coolant that is running through to the various components on the motherboard and the video cards so we've got all these tubes coming out that is running to the cpu uh, there's two cpus so we've got two cpu blocks and there's four banks of memory so i think there's a total of like 12 connections or 12 g, g quarter threads that need to go and pass through to the various components so what he's done, he's fabricated a full custom panel with all this uh, routing for the coolant to run through. And then this just sort of pushes on all the tubing. He's gone with chrome tubing that connects it all together. And he's gone with the sick idea of mounting the two video cards, I would say on a 45 degree angle, just so you can really see the cards themselves. Whereas when they're sitting sort of a vertically, you can't really see the cards themselves. He also has 3D printed sort of these sort of custom, I wouldn't say back plates because it's the other, the other side of the GPU block. So created some um, uh, plates that you can actually represent the original uh, founder's edition of the 1080, but it's uh, a 3D printed one and it's actually on the water block and that looks really sick. It's also uh, 3D printed quite a lot of the stuff on the back. He's got the pump res combo that holds the um, pump res. That's a bracket there. Um, he's also added these really nice machined feet. Now these are absolutely huge. They're machined out of one aluminum block of uh, billets and that's just insane. They weigh a ton. This whole system weighs a complete ton. Uh, some of the other work he's done here, he's had some laser cut uh, sort of slits all the way along here, really intricate detail. So the LEDs just sort of shine through. Now for uh, performance, uh, water cooling performance, he's got a 480 radiator down the bottom, which is cooled by these two humongous 140 millimeter ring fans. And he's also mounted the, uh, the thermal tape PSU in the middle here, which is sort of a feature of the build as well. All right, now moving on to, I won't spend too much time on our build. Everyone has pretty much seen this on, on our channel. It's on YouTube. Uh, basically, uh, what we've done here, we've gone for maximum sort of cleanliness, straight lines. Uh, we've got all the tubes running down. I added a custom motherboard tray just to sort of hide all the grommets, grommets and cable holes. I really like just having the right amount of cables that you need in a build. Uh, the right holes, the right pass-throughs. I've just added the, the holes for the PCIe cables down the bottom a hole for the 24 pin and a hole for your EPS power on the top right. And then I've just added the holes for the pass-throughs and that's it. And as you can see, I've tied, I've tied in the MSI X99A titanium board, uh, the silver G-School Trident Z RAM and the A-Pacer SSD are all sort of silver titanium and I've tied it in nicely and I've gone with the silver uh, paint job with this sort of black sort of effect as well on it. And then of course, I've added a little screen. I couldn't do a build uh, for CES without adding a little screen on it. Now finally we'll take a look at uh, Mark's build here from Precision Computing. Now it might be hard to uh, pick this up on the camera but this is a avatar theme. So it's the PC of Souls. Uh, he's gone with this, actually you're probably not familiar but this is a P3. Uh, he's gone with this awesome sort of cover 
that um, that re represents sort of the world of Avatar. I'm not too familiar with Avatar. I think I watched it uh, a long time ago, but I can only assume this is like the world of Avatar. He's gone with all the right colors. He's got a lot of UV effects, and he's actually gone with the new uh, TT RGB uh, fittings, as you can see, they're all over here. And he's done a really good job at hiding the cables on those fittings, because I've, I've got a set of those fittings, and the only issue I thought was having the sleeve cables coming from every little fitting. But when you look at this build, you honestly can't see any of the cables as, at all. He's got the really sick uh, PSU cover, really nice. He's got some RGB effects, the PC soles in that PSU cover as well, and that looks really nice. He's got a custom GPU backplate with the two eyes that are looking out at you, which is really nice as well. Uh, some other things he's done, he's matched these peripherals, really nice blue on the keyboard, mouse, and the headset, and that ties it up really nice as well. And he's actually gone sort of moved the um, Move the radiator sort of 180 and mounted it on the end just to give him a bit more room to mount the uh, the reservoirs in the middle there as well. But yeah, re really nice rigs from the modders. I won't spend too much longer on there. Um, there's probably another rig I will look at uh, in a tick. It's a Donkey Kong rig, but um, I just got to stop this video and we'll have a look at that in a second. Alrighty guys, now the last build I want to take a look at is this awesome Donkey Kong build. Now this was done by Thermaltake's own in-house Thermal Mike. Now he has got this build spot on, as you can see, he's gone with the full-on Donkey Kong. He's even got the little barrels running down the tubing. He's got the tubing spot on. He's got the, uh, the decals around the side. He's even got it sitting on a barrel. They even brought a barrel. I don't know where they got this barrel from. They've even brought it here to CES and it just looks awesome. And he's got this little bit on the top that looks like sort of an arcade style. He's got the color spot on. He's got little Mario down there. And one other cool little thing is there's a little button down here. I'll see if we can hear this. Uh, I'll just put the mic. And that just adds a really nice little touch to this build. Really nice. I'm not sure how long he spent on this. I don't think he spent very long. I think he started this about a week or so out uh, before uh, CES. But yeah, really nice little build there. But anyway, that's it on um, the main builds for uh, CES at the Thermal Tape booth. Hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.